I'm going to go to the four hour chart here. In the four hour chart, we see the pattern looking something like this. From this top here, the red mid line, this is the middle range. Remember, it can go a little bit below or a little bit above the line. And I'm saying it again just for the new people. This red line here is the average. You know, we can go above it, let's say there, or we can go below it. Sometimes when you have a market like this, we can go like this. Or this can just shoot up the, like this and then form a very long move there. But ultimately what's going to happen is we can eat our target. So you get a lot of different deviances. It is what it is at the moment. The data is correct and it's kicking out the correct data for us. So what will happen here, you can see here clearly that uh, I said that I don't believe that this will happen here. And uh, there's your ABC corrective wave. Let's quickly talk about the Elliott waves. In here, you can see that we've got leg one, leg two, leg three, four, and five top, uh, ABC corrective wave. Now what's going to happen is that, in my opinion here, is that we're going to have another five waves. The five waves is that one there, one, two, probably three, four, five, maybe something like this. I'm just going to make this smaller, again, just minuscule and, okay, so there we are. So it's probably in my next report that I do, it will, I'll probably put it up like this. So that will be a fake out. That's going to be a fake out. Remember, we haven't had the fake outs unless the fake out is actually this one. Okay, then this model might come down slightly to something like this. But for the time being, let's just keep it where it is. I think the fake out is going to be there. Uh, this could even be three, four, and as a matter of fact, maybe three there, four there, and then five will be at the fake out. So that's what this is going to look like. Then you're going to look at a kind of like an ABC corrective wave here. And then what happens here is that you have let me just put that in and just show you what I see. And then we have another one, two, three, four, five. Now, that will not be a minus minuscule. That will be, I'm just going to put that up like that. Okay, so effectively, what you look at is that you're going to have a very large ABC. Let me just make it, uh, this is what you're going to have probably something like this. Okay. And ultimately, this will just be a completion of ABC leg to the upside or a Elliott Wave 5 leg. Just for those people, some people are asking me about these things. Let me just put that in. It will be something like... Uh, let's just make it a primary for now. So this will be your leg 0. Leg one is there because the five waves are complete. Leg two there. Leg three is actually going to be there. Leg four and then leg five. Okay. So you can see it can either be an ABC or it can be this one here. I think we're going to go for this. That's actually how it's going to be. But ultimately when it's done, you'll be able to work at ABC, ABC. Remember how I said that's going to be a very strange move. You know, but uh, we can bank on this, on this. This is why your leg one is already complete. We're now in this leg three, which will go up there sideways, break at you into three. And then you can literally then, as a matter of fact, the last leg here is going to be another one, two, three, four, five. But I'm just going to make it a small leg and that will complete it. So actually, this is actually a really good video. If you can remember this, cut it out, take a screenshot. This is how the market is going to move. Now, it doesn't matter how it moves and how we get there, but we're going to get to the top. Now, interesting, actually, guys, I just want to show you something, really. If you go here to BitcoinTaf.com, if you go here to products, this is the four recommended products. If you go to see more, now, remember, yeah, you can go and search for chart patterns. You can go and filter and so on, but I'm just going to scroll through quickly just to show you. See here, ultimate patterns. If you go and view that. That's about $60. You can download all the reports. Those are the reports that I'm going to show you right now. Okay, now let's just get back to where we were. That's where we were. Now I'm going to bring this report up. One of the most important reports is this one here, the Elliott Wave Theory. This consists of about 50 pages. But when you go down, okay, first of all, remember last week, we spoke about this. Bitcoin came from the bottom, one, two, three, four, 
you know, it's actually hit the top. It's an ABC corrective wave. Now it's going to go back up again, okay? And then what happens is it's now formed this leg. So that leg is now complete. It's made that ABC corrective. Now it's doing that. So Bitcoin is just there, but here it is. It's done that. And now it's it's about there. So it's going to push a little bit higher. Remember what I showed you there? And then we're going to go up to, to finalize the point, which will actually be the 0.5 or the high point in Bitcoin. Just go back and watch the video again if you are confused there. And then we're going to have a, after three and four, basically, there we have a corrective wave again. Okay. But what I want to show you here is, uh, let me just go right down to the bottom here somewhere. Okay. Start here with drawing channels for impulse waves because we're in the impulse wave now. As I said, leg one is complete in Bitcoin. Leg two is down. Most altcoins like ADA is starting that move as well now. So Some altcoins are actually there now. They're starting it's that starting move. That. But Bitcoin is now there. So it's going to go three, four, five to the top there. But then there is a, here we go. That's it. Uh, the Fibonacci sequence. If you want to figure out how, how high the market goes, you know where the bottom in Bitcoin is now. You know where leg number one is. And then I'm only going to now show you the bottom of zero on Bitcoin and where one is. Then you will be able to figure out the rest. So let's go back to Bitcoin. Remember, zero and one. Now, where is zero? Zero is there. Leg one is there. Now, with Fibonacci, you can literally go and work at what these levels are going to be. You, you're not going to be 100% correct, but you're going to be very, very close, very close. 